You post a lot of controversial stuff. Are you sober? I mean, you smoke pot with Rogan. You have a ketamine prescription. What's that for? Do you feel like you ever abuse it? How often do you take it? You recently met with Donald Trump. What did you guys talk about? Did he ask you for money? Did he ask you for a donation? This yeah. is a man trying to get a career win by getting a sound bite exactly. out of Elon Musk that makes Elon look bad. So what went wrong? I don't know. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to For the Motherfucking Culture. <laughs> Introduce us, my friend. The people listening to this is Kaizen, but it's not surprising as Ooh. you know, it's Ferrari Amari, mm. aka Never Sorry. Oh, Kaizen, he never mm. leaves these hoes tied in because he always ties his shoes in. Mm. Oh, my nigga wearing Velcro, but he never got no hoes. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we start the episode, man. <laughs> Don Lemon, who used to work for CNN, he uh, interviewed Elon Musk, um, and the interview, I think, encapsulates why ev everything that's wrong with journalism. Awesome. Yeah. Love it. Let's watch. Old Twitter was a f a fundamentally a, tw a tool of the, the far left. Do um, you think it was far left? Yes, I do. I, I used to get, I actually got <laughs> off the platform because I would get so much guff from right-wing conspiracy theorists being called everything from, you know, fag to... Sure. Nigger it's the, it's the internet, everything. you know, that people will do. I mean, I've been called every name times a thousand. Do you agree that it's right now and that even no. it's moved into sort of maga no, conspiracy I don't, theory? I certainly don't think it's right. Um, the political donations of old Twitter were 99% Democrat. That's obviously an extremely left-leaning group. This is a good point. These companies are not just companies. They're collectives of people, people. Yeah. who have agendas. Yeah. And if statistically you can easily see on a piece of paper that 99 percent of these people yeah. have one specific ideology do you think that would affect the algorithm that they create mm -hmm. I, I i don't have an issue with companies having an ideological bias i do think it's scary when tech and social media companies yeah. have an ideological yeah. bias yeah. and it makes it into the code yeah. which is what happened with the google ai thing which is the only reason we're not viral yet are you are you sober? Like, almost always. Are you yes. Under the influence of anything? Uh, no, I don't. I don't drink. I don't really. No, I. No. So you got no drink, no smoke, no nothing. I mean, you smoke pot with Rogan. I had one puff. Yeah. I think anyone who smokes pot can tell I don't know how to, how to smoke pot. But you've admitted that you've had you have a ketamine prescription. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that for? Well, I mean, that's pretty private to ask somebody about a medical prescription. You know, ketamine is helpful for. Uh, Getting, getting one outside, out of a negative frame of mind. Do you feel like you ever abuse it? Yo, okay, so pause, man. Like, <laughs> the, ener the, ener the energy of this is he's so clearly looking for vulnerability. Trying to find, exactly. Like, you compare this to a conversation that he has with Rogan or Lex Friedman. Say something that'll fuck you. Yeah, he's, Say something like, that'll uh, fuck you. With your those life. guys, he's relaxed. He, 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 they're not looking to catch him. They're actually curious. Here, he's like, it's like a battery of questions. Like, all right, how, what can I imply? Are you or, sober when you're kind, tweeting? What kind of character, yeah, what kind what, of character what, assassination that, that can I engage like, in? Do you love this shit? Are you high right now? Are you Are high you right now? Girl, is he true? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, Jesus, my boy. Uh, fucking back up. He's a human <laughs> coping boy, with being like, a human. Coping with being an exemplar. And, and uh, like, like at, at a base level, yeah, like crazy. anyone cannot be faulted for having depressive moods. Yeah. He's literally dealing with reality on maximum difficulty <laughs> like a <laughs> <Yeah>. nightmare mode <laughs> okay if the man wants a little bit of ketamine yeah. to get through another 16 hour cool seven it. day a week work day human civilization holy shit dude like, like man is literally like yo i work 16 hours a day i have for the last like 20 years of my life i'm the probably the most scrutinized human being on the face of the planet i run businesses that literally on a dime could collapse a civilization and i have to spend an hour of my time talking to your uncle tom ass fucking face why, why, and like why yeah i need a little bit of ketamine to get through the fucking day sometime elon you don't have to talk to yeah. this man come on you don't have to do this baby come just, back home just tomorrow talk to lex and joe and 
No, people, people who are actually journalists. Yeah, yeah, not even journalists. People who don't have an agenda and trying to human. take you yeah. down. Right. Yeah, like what the fuck is this? Yeah, this is disgusting. This yeah. is a man trying to get a career win by getting a soundbite exactly. out of Elon Musk that makes Elon look bad. It feels like what he's trying to do is paint a profile of a man who is unstable. erratic, unstable. Yeah. How do you think that's going to affect your stock prices? Yeah, it's like this is a human moment. Looks man. at the camera like, hey, stockholders, I think maybe Ugh. you should. Re it's like it's actually like. For his little moment of shine, he can actually like cripple not only this man who's important to civilization, but cripple the companies that are important to our future. So he can get a little bit more of his fucking clout. Like this is depressing. It's yeah, it's actually. I'm, I need ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of ketamine <laughs> to get through this interview. Oh, this cut away. Also, I'm just thinking, got an IV in his arms. Like, oh, we gotta make it through the rest of this episode. <laughs> All jokes aside, I think you're actually very accurate. It's like this is actually sad to watch. It's like, yeah. It's like, where is the actual? First humanity, all, em humanity, empathy, curiosity—it's none. It's like, where can I get you? Where can I get you? The the sad thing is, this is representative of the state of journalism yeah. in general. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like I've seen this kind of interview before. With it's Elon. not Any, the first time. Anytime though. he talks to a mainstream media person, when he talked to the dude, uh, when he said, "Go yourself." I remember watching the whole interview. I was like, "Oh, this guy who Elon has called a friend yeah, yeah. <laughs> is is spending an hour just trying to get yeah. him yeah. and make a point a point that." He's trying to make a point, but he bails it as a question. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what's got exactly. Happen. Yeah, yeah, that's what journalism is these days. Yeah, yeah. And it's like if you're gonna make a point, make a fucking say with your chest, yeah, nigga. Make Drop a the name, point. like Kendrick, nigga. Come on, the fuck the big three. Like, oh, I don't think one of the most powerful men in the world should have depressive symptoms at all. Okay, if that's your point, then make that point, which is an idiotic point, yeah. but make it. So, yeah, but you you don't have. Yeah, to don't to say don't it. don't. Because if you say it, you know that it's fucking sounds. Yeah, it sounds stupid. <laughs> yeah. So, oh god, this yeah, is gross. This is gross. This is not an honest interview. It's, no, it's not an honest. <laughs> There's interview. no way anybody looks at this and thinks. Don Lemon had an idea of what Elon is. Yeah. He is trying to portray him as a villain, yeah. and he has structured a line of questioning that is explicitly designed to do that. And from my view, he is failing. Yeah. Right? He's not even done well. Yeah. All right, you want to wash that out of your system? Oh, I God, that was gross, <laughs> dude. What are we doing? <laughs> What are we doing? I know that did not feel good on your system. What are we doing, man? I thought I was a liberal my whole life. And then, you know, when Trump was running for office, I didn't want him to be elected. <laughs> but I thought it was weird when all of a sudden the people that liked Trump. Take over the world when I'm on my Donald Trump shit. Call me black Donald Trump. Me and Trump on golf courses. Everyone thought he was like this iconic symbol, symbol of business. He was in rap songs. Get money like Donald Trump. Every, you know, Trump was the status flipped on him in one second. Fuck Donald Trump. I just didn't, I didn't buy the narrative mm -hmm. that he was in the media for th three, four decades and suddenly you wanted me to believe overnight that he was like Adolf Hitler and a racist. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't trust the media's narrative about him and so I decided to actually listen to what he said. And then when I saw what he was saying versus how it was being reported, I just found it to be extremely dishonest. So I started researching more, learning more, and then I got kind of angry. And then I realized that actually I've always been a conservative, I just didn't know it. And economically speaking, of course, the conservative arguments make the most sense. This is a serious person. <laughs> Okay, this is a serious person, a serious thinker who actually thinks for herself. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. It, it's funny because we just yeah. watched all this Don Lemon. I watched we just, 10, 15 minutes of him, and yeah. I, it just kept getting worse every <laughs> second. I watched nine minutes. I can immediately tell quality. Now, why you do also... you believe that Hollywood was created by the CIA? First off, you guys do know the Pentagon has a budget for film. Like, there's a whole department you in the Pentagon. I know that. That's you a fact. There you go. That's, that's all you need to know. There's an entire department uh, in the Pentagon. They get involved with films, and they get involved with films for the purpose of propaganda. They always have. What movies are I they I should produce? have said Pentagon instead of CIA. Tons of them. I should show you the list. You should pull it up. It's it wild. Right yeah, Pentagon please. Department for Hollywood. Mm. Tons of them. I have to Even Transformers. This. Because they're concerned about certain narratives. They get involved with like World War films, like mm. how are we telling a story about history? Usually it's because we're lying about what we did or trying not to make Americans aware of the crimes against humanity wow. that we commit overseas, you know? Yeah, the mm. Pentagon has funded some films, Black Hawk Down, Red Dawn, Golden Eye. So now you understand your experience in theaters is what your mm -hmm. government wants you to think. They want you to think that this is how things happen and it's usually not at all how things have actually yeah. happened. I'm really impressed with Candace. Oh, this nigga's like, you know, I think I want to fuck Candace. Yeah, hold on, relax, <laughs> man. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Uh, this, 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. I'm over here looking at the facts. This nigga like, you know what? I think I like black women to get. Jesus Christ. 
completely undermined the point before I even made it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was that was masterful. Yeah, it was masterful. She just dropped a simple fact. It's like, and the whole room is just It's like, done. everyone can look this up. This is a simple fact where it's like, it's hard to look at this in a positive, neutral way. It's yeah, like, yeah. why does the Pentagon have a film budget? That was masterfully done. She was like, this is a fact. Go look it up. Look what it do up. you think of this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, yeah, it's hard to look at that in a good way. And just be like, this is okay. Like, and and, and, on, and to think, it's like, oh, wow, we are in a subtly manipulated, managed reality. Every Everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Tate, The Matrix. Oh, The Matrix. It is. That's literally Matrix the, shit. They, and it's like, people yeah. are like, <laughs> it's like, bro, like, but facts. Yeah, but facts. Yeah, but, <laughs> but facts. Like, it's like, what, what, what do you make of this? <laughs> but facts. Oh, you think the Pentagon just uh, wants to make good films for, because uh, they love films? For, for the it's culture. It's for, for art. For art. Crap, this is art. They love art. They have an artistic department. It's like arts and crafts. Niggas at the Pentagon, like, <laughs> for, for the, the culture. Service, yeah. There's a secret service arts and crafts that release with stress. That's why the department <laughs> yeah, yeah, exists. Yeah, yeah. They just, they Holy need, shit, They need dude. a hobby to let off their steam. Nigga. Oh, wow. This like, is great. Like, come on, dog. You can tell she's been in the arena for a while, because she's... She's just... Tight. I'm gonna say this again. Please. You know, she's like, 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 she just comes in. She's like, I know what I'm gonna say. I have indisputable you facts. Hit me with one fact. She's like, jab, <laughs> uppercut. Beautiful. Yeah, like, just Beautiful. Just I'm impressed. Master, I'm very impressed with master class, bro. Master I'm very class. impressed. Uh, but anyways, thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'd like to say a special thank you to my brother Kaizen Asiyudu for always being willing to get angry and play, <laughs> and play the part of the angry black I man. I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> but thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like, at the end of the day, just ask more questions yeah. and just be willing to look at facts i think that that's all that matters both yeah. sides of the facts and also checking with the integrity of the people who are asking the questions because a lot of times those people are not as handsome as us yes and also i know it's corny as fuck when people do this but honestly liking the show helps a lot yeah bro, so, it, subscribing the show helps both of us and also comment and tell us what you think uh 100 i mean y'all click the fucking link how much does it take to click the fucking subscribe button it's just like come on like we're only where else, where else you getting this like we're you, already the best and we're just getting better yeah, where else so you getting like, this come on, come you get to be one of the first few subscribers Ooh, come on come on like when, come on like man. We're in, when we're in guantanamo be like i knew them niggas when yeah, they were free like, <laughs> <laughs> well we get waterboarded <laughs> I knew the niggas when they were dehydrated. <laughs> All right, so I love y'all, appreciate y'all, and this is for the motherfucking culture. Bop, 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 bop. Time man. to go watch some CIA funded films. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Subscribe to For the Culture. It's the best thing you'll do all 2024. Trust me, I subscribed and just look at me. I'm gonna fire my blunt like Donald Trump.